Okay, so in this video I'm going to talk about all of the patch changes briefly, including all of the boring ones. So starting off with base Deku, his tilt quirk 1 gives him less plus ultra meter basically. Okay, next is Bakugo. <laughs> he got a ton of changes. Um, mainly, if you check my um, update video with Bakugo, I've shown that he has a lot of um, new combo paths. Basically, his quirk 1, his charged quirk 1 works very differently now. Now, when he does it, it goes a lot further, it launches the opponent higher into the air, and he can actually combo off of it meterlessly now, off of his regular string. And he can no longer cancel his tilt quirk 2 grab into the quirk 1, which is quite a nerf. His charged quirk 1 also does a lot more damage, and there's also a nerf where his tilt quirk 1, the like string of explosions, it has a lot more recovery frames, so he basically just can't do it as fast, like he's a bit more punishable if he misses, which is good because then, you know, he can't just be charging around and like spamming them all over the place. So, just overall balance and a few combo paths changing with Bakugo, nothing drastic. But yes, drastic changes with combos, they are very different. Um, Todoroki got a few small changes. His unblockable attack, basically the ice from his, you know, his red attack goes away a little bit faster now. And I'm fine with that because that it was kind of weird how like he could have like some weird unblockable setups where he does it and it misses, but then you still get hit by the uh, ice. Um, so I guess, you know, I'm just glad they fixed that. His quirk 2 uh, happens a little bit faster in the air. And it just has a hit, better hitbox in the air. That's where he just does the swipe of fire. So I guess it's just faster for some reason. And has a better hitbox. Spots Ultra... Plus Ultra 1 has a better hitbox now. I don't know why, it already had an am amazing one. It was huge. And his Plus Ultra 2 happens faster, which, I don't know, thought it was already basically instant. Moving on to Ida. Uh, his target combo got, like, he's like his regular attack string. Um, <laughs> it got a lot of changes, but like, nothing crazy. Like, there's a lot of things listed here. Like, I'll read a few out, like, Adjusted to prevent inertial movement immediately after first, first stage occurs on ground. Extended time to receive input from the second to first step. Like, there's a bunch of, like, small, tiny changes, but, like, nothing that really matters. Um, something that does kind of matter is his counterattack on the ground. Um, if he hits an airborne opponent with, him, uh, with it, he can't really combo off of it. So that's his, his counterattack, or his yellow attack, on the ground. His plus ultra 1 is just more stabilized, so it's more, like... Um, likely to hit, and he got a slightly shortened sidestep. Um, Tsuyu just got a slightly a bug fix with her support, w with it missing. Kirishima got one change, but it's actually quite a big change from him. It has to do with his uh, quirk 2 in the air, where he... <laughs> where he does those, um, like, string of punches, and he actually can't combo off of them on a grounded opponent unless he's very fast and stays airborne. So it kind of just slightly changes up some of his combo paths. It's a bit of a weird nerf, but it doesn't do too much, but I just honestly don't know why they even did it. Like, it, it's just kind of weird. Momo, she can't cancel the first hit of her combo string into the counterattack when it misses. Very random. Don't know why they bothered changing that. Change the dash cancel input from the like the spear, the spear's quirk one where they, she does a slash down. Um, you can no, da no longer dash cancel her tilt quirk two, which I think is kind of good because like no one ever really wanted to dash cancel that anyways. If you can combo off of it. Okay, Aizawa, he just got some slight like bug fixes with his tilt, um, like his yellow attacks. Which is, which is good, because they were kind of weird and hit, like, randomly missed. Before Shigaraki. Um, his main changes were that his puddles, both his Quark 2 and his Plus Ultra 1, both of them hit the opponent even if they're airborne, um, just as long as they're very low in the air. Because they, apparently they used to not hit anyone, even if, if they're in the air, even if they were very low. So now they do that. And that's actually kind of good, because if you start hitting an opponent, like, when you're on the ground, but they're slightly airborne, you used to not be able to combo from the puddles, and now you can, so I guess that's pretty good. And just a random change to his guard cancel not working. 
All for one, slight change to his target combo, just to work better. His counter attacks have a bit more hit stun. And his tilt quirk too has even higher turning performance, so it has better tracking as the opponent like runs away and sidesteps, so it's almost impossible to avoid now. It's a pretty crazy move for like a half screen unblockable attack. Like, wow. Next we have Darby. Um Okay, his changes are to all of his plus ultras. They lowered the damage, uh, increased the increased the recovery frames, um, shortened the blow away distance, so shortened the knockback, and increased the falling dam speed of damage side. So not really that much, just I guess slightly lower damage for his plus ultras for some reason. Uh, nothing really for stain. Muscular got nerfed for some reason. <laughs> Basically. Just like, no matter how many, like, muscle arms he has up, he can't combo off of his tilt attack anymore. For some reason. Um, don't know why, but yep. And, you know, slight, um, like, hitbox changes to his quirk one, like, where he's charging up. It has, can, like, hit people above and below him now, which I guess it couldn't do before. Um, his quirk two got kind of changed to have a little bit more hit stun, so he can actually combo off of it meterlessly when he's near a wall. So that's kind of interesting. Inasa just got some weird... Where is he? Inasa just got, like, a bunch of changes to what builds certain amounts of meter. Like, for example, his target combo gives him more plus ultra gauge now, but, like, his quirk... Tilt quirk 2 gives him less plus ultra gauge, and his counter attack gives him more, and something else gives him less, and yeah. I don't know. Just weird changes to his how he builds meter, nothing actually balance-wise. Uh, Endeavor, basically both of his projectiles just got slower. Like, his his spear and his three fireballs, they're all just slower to throw out. And so, you know, he can't zone as well. Which is a very obvious nerf. They are quite slow now, they look very noticeably slower. And also his ground counterattacks give him less plus ultra meter, not really a big deal. Mirio, oh my god. If you want to hear me ranting for 10 minutes about <laughs> about Mirio, you can watch the video I had dedicated to him. It, oh my god, this is so sad. So they nerfed his Tilt Quirk 2, like, to the moon and back. Like, in ways that we didn't want it to. So they made it so, without dash cancelling, he has to wait till he lands on the ground after doing the uppercut before... Um, did I say Tilt Quirk 2? I mean Tilt Quirk 1, where he goes underground and then does the uppercut. Um, he has to wait till he lands on the ground before he can actually do anything, before he can do a sidestep, before he can do any attacks or anything after it. So he only recovers once he hits the ground. And I believe their idea behind that was to make it so people can actually punish that move. But, like, people aren't going to punish it anyways, because you're going to, like, dash cancel, so it doesn't really change anything. And it just makes it so you can't, like, on hit. I can't, like, jump in the air after I hit the opponent with him to try and catch their recovery. It's just so, so stupid. And they also made it so when you cancel and, like, don't actually do the uppercut, that's also a lot more minus, like, a lot more recovery frames. And so it's a lot easier to react to. So they kind of just ruined all of his mix-ups that way. Uh, his Quirk 2 was a slightly better hitbox. And a bunch of changes to the speed of his target combo. It looks kind of weird now, but nothing too drastic with that. <sighs> but man, he's still Quirk 1. Didn't doubt he like that. And also, he's not invincible when he goes into the ground and he's doing it, so... It's just... <laughs> it's too rude. Nejire, um... Basically, her Quirk 2 got faster, and her Tilt Quirk 2 got slower. Um, but they're both still very good moves. Both really good to throw out a neutral to try and close the gap. They're both just, you know, pretty good. And a big change for Nejire is that her Plus Ultra 1... Actually hits now. <laughs> Like, you don't have to wait, like, five seconds for the plus ultra to actually hit the opponent. It will actually just hit them on activation if you're close-ish. Like, from the starting position, uh, in most maps, it'll hit. And, yeah, just from, like, a few character bodies away, it'll hit. If you are very far away, it will still take a while, because she does that weird, like, spread thing where the opponent just stands in the middle. But now she can actually combo into it consistently, and it doesn't just completely miss for no reason. Uh, next we have Tamaki. Um, he got, like, a few changes, but nothing that really changes, like, his balance levels. So, um, 
Some good changes for him is both of his ground and his air combo are a bit faster now, like the first hit of them. Uh, and there's a few other changes to those, but nothing really important. His quirk one, you can dash cancel a little, little bit earlier, which allows you to do some ground combos, as I showed in the video that I made specifically about him. Uh, his quirk two just has basically a better hitbox, and it won't like randomly miss for some reason now. And his tilt quirk two, like the tentacle grab, it kind of got nerfed and buffed. It got nerfed in that he gets less damage when he does a combo using it, but it's also buffed in that he can actually get a combo from it no matter where he is on the screen. So even if he's not facing a wall, he can still actually combo from it, which is pretty cool, because now you don't have to rely on facing a wall. Mineta, um, I'm just going to read this one because I'm not really sure. Adjust for his ground counterattack, adjusted the behavior of opponents to lower their bounce height and blow them farther away. Wait, that's actually really bad. I think that means that he's probably not going to be able to combo meterlessly off of his, his tilt attack on the ground. What? That's rude. <laughs> Why would you do that? Mineta wasn't OP anyways, why- what? Oh. Man, these kids with their random nerfs. What's going on here? Kami also got nerfed, um, but I don't think they did it intentionally. Uh, so I had- actually, I've made a video explaining it all if you want to check out one for her specifically. But basically they kind of like sped up her target combo and made it a bit faster, but in doing so, it made it so she can't combo into her quirk 2 from the full combo. She can only cancel it from like the first hit. So, her combos are kind of nerfed in a really annoying way. Because it's just weird doing one hit into the Quirk 2 string. Like, it makes your combo so much shorter and weirder. Um, a buff for her, though, was her counter attacks have a lot better tracking and they go further. So, they're really good for her, like, for actually engaging on your opponent and, you know, breaking the neutral, getting in close. And they have better tracking, so that's always good. Bunch of changes to the Quirk Special 1 that don't really do anything. Like, they took away some recovery frames when it misses, uh, made it so it doesn't miss as much, like the second part of it. Fix some bugs with it. And also you can't dash cancel the last hit now for some reason. Um, her tilt quirk one, she can just do three of them in a combo now instead of, like, one or two. Which is kind of good, but I haven't really found because they get meteor blown anyways. Like, it has to be a very specific combo for you to be able to get three of them. And her tilt quirk two, just got a little bit more damage and a bug fix, but it's still, like, not that great. <laughs> um, Night Eye got kind of a buff, but, like, not really what we wanted. They did buff the parry, but, so they made it so it happens faster and it's less unsafe, but only when he has it already activated. <laughs> like, what? So when he's in the future prediction mode, where he's already landed the parry, then the parry actually gets fast and not unsafe. Like, what? <laughs> I still have to land this dumb parry in order to get the parry buffs, like, what? I don't understand. And also his plus ultra one is just better hitbox, it's more likely to hit. Um, Fat Gum got a few more ch- where is he? Oh yeah, down here. Fat Gum got a few more changes to his target combos, it's just a little bit better now. It has better tracking in the air. His counter attacks, higher, so it's a bit faster in the air basically and has better tracking. That's his tilt attack in the air. Um, his quirk one is quite a lot better now. Now it, like, basically, he, like, flings himself while he's yellow. I mean, like, has armor yellow. And just, like, flings himself full screen. Like, he goes really far. He just, like, travels all the way across, and he can cancel it into anything. So it's, like, totally safe. Completely, like, invincible, because he's invincible to projectiles as well now. So he can just launch himself completely across the screen and then cancel into anything. He can go into, like, you know, complete yellow loops when he goes, um, quirk one tilt attack, quirk one, tilt attack, and keep can keep cancelling them into each other. So that's pretty awesome for Vatgum, because he was a really good anti-neutral tool. Um, his quirk two, I don't know, just some kind of changes to how he, how many hits he needs to go into Slim Gum. Plus Ultra One, just stabilizes hits so it's more consistent, and slight bug fixes with his sidekick attack. And when he's skinny, like a few changes to him at the amount of meter he gets from things. His target combo um, is a little bit faster, and his tilt quirk one has a better hitbox. Okay, overhaul basically just got a little bit like they made his regular like attack just the first attack of his string like pretty okay, awesome now. So they made it faster and safer. So they removed the recovery frame. So basically, as soon as he does the actual punch of the hit, 
he can sidestep. It's really safe. So even if you miss the hit, you can like sidestep out of the way, which is not something a lot of characters can do. A lot of the time, regular like attacks are super unsafe for some reason. <laughs> but yeah, so overhauls is very good, very fast, and very safe. Um, his and basically everything else is just like damage buffs for some reason. Like he already did pretty good damage, and now they're deciding to buff him and do even more damage. So his ground counter attack does more damage. Um, it's more likely to meteor blow, and it also launches the opponent so far. I don't know if they've changed that, but like, it launches them completely across the screen into the wall. It's like, it's probably one of the best wall splat tools in the game now. Up there with Uraraka's like, home run whack thingy. Um, he has more damage from his aerial tilt quirk one, where he throws like, the shotgun of rocks. So that does more damage. And his quirk two actually has less recovery frames, so he's more safe when he does it. He doesn't have to wait there scratching his arm for ages. <laughs> That's the one where he like charges up and like grabs you and then like does a does a thing and it knocks you down. And it actually knocks him down for so long now you can go up for setups with his tilt quirk one and stuff. And I explained that in a video, which is pretty powerful. Um V2 overhaul. Just got some slight buffs to his his red attack. It has better tracking. Um, a little bit faster. His plus ultra one and his plus ultra two are just a bit more consistent and a little bit faster. So uh, yeah, just buffs for all of overhauls. <laughs> Rapa got some buffs and some nerfs. Uh, <laughs> they actually made it so his target combo actually all connects, like including that last punch. It actually connects. Like I don't know why it didn't. I mean, it's not even really that much of a buff, because no one's ever going to use it, but I'm... I mean, I, I'm guess I, I'm just glad they did it, because it was so weird that it didn't connect. <laughs> um, they just made it so, like, his, um, his regular attack string, his quirk 1, and his quirk 2 all have better tracking, um, both in the air and on the ground, like, vertically and horizontally, so that's good. But he did get a few damage nerfs with his counterattacks doing a little bit less damage, and his quirk 2 doing a little bit less damage. Uh, Shigaraki, this version, um, he just gets a little bit more plus ultra gauge from his quirk 1, which, I mean, sure, like, why are you buffing his quirk 1, though? <laughs> like, it's already amazing, but whatever. Uh, his tilt quirk 1 got a bunch of changes as to how you activated it, and they explain it by saying, adjusted to accept a lever input to change direction just before finishing an attack. So, um, I haven't actually tried that out, but I guess it's slightly different. It doesn't say that they change the combos or anything. It gives him more plus ultra- Why does he need so much more plus ultra gauge? He's getting more plus ultra gauge from everything, what? And it doesn't launch him as far away. And his quirk 2 has better tracking. So just more buffs for regular Shigaraki, or this version of Shigaraki. Like damn, he was already pretty OP, but whatever. <laughs> um, Nomu just got a buff for his plus ultra 1. It's just more consistent to hit now. And his sidekick plus ultra one, obviously it's the same thing. And finally we have Mei, who got a more consistent um, mid-air target combo. I don't remember it ever missing, but now it's more consistent and stabilized. Um, her ground counter attack has less recovery frame, so it's a bit safer. Not that that really matters, because you're going to cancel it into something anyways. Her unblockable attack is even better now because the bomb explodes a bit faster and you can actually cancel the explosion into her attacks a lot quicker now. Um, her tilt quirk 1 does even more damage now, like they didn't even bother nerfing the fact that it's like a plus on block projectile from point blank that's safe and fast and like what? And it starts combos? What is this move? What? And they didn't nerf it, they made it do more damage. What? It's not that much more damage, but like, why are you buffing it? Like, it's not that much of a buff, but why aren't you nerfing it? Like, that move is crazy. I've gone on spiels about it before, but like, it's safe. It's plus on block, depending on where you are. It's a projectile that is super fast and starts combos. So you can just throw it out whenever. And there's literally like no, no downside to ever just throwing it out. Like, what? Um, her plus ultra 2 does uh, more damage now, it used to do 10,000 and now it does 11,500, so that's good, because it used to kind of, yeah, be kind of pathetic in combos, but now it'll actually do some decent damage, and her sidekick um, now has higher cooldown, it's from 30 seconds to 40 seconds, so yeah. 
Okie dokie, and that is actually all of the characters. Those are the only patch changes that were made in this update. Am I happy with the update? I mean, sort of. There's, there were some cool changes. They changed up, like, some of the characters matter. Like, they made Fat Gum... They made Fat Gum better, you know, gave some, like, random damage buffs to overhaul. There was a few things I didn't agree with, like Kirishima and Mirio's nerfs. And, like, overhauls I feel like was a bit unnecessary as well. And Kami, like, and Muscular. Yeah, okay, maybe I'm not happy. That was a lot of things I didn't agree with in this patch. Like, there are a few good things, like, Nejire's plus ultra 1 actually hits now. And, like, Bakugo has some new cool combos. And, um... Yeah, damn, maybe I'm not happy with this update. <laughs> it didn't really do too much for us, did it? Not too much balance changes, except some for some weird, like, nerfing the bottom tiers. Like, why would you nerf Muscular and Kirishima and Mirio? Again. Like, okay. But anyways, at least we're getting changes. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, you can check out, I made a video for all of the characters that actually got kind of like relevant fixes and I talked about, so like people like Bakugo and stuff that actually have changes that impact their gameplay like noticeably. I've made a video for each of them. So make sure to check those out for characters that you're interested in. But uh, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you sometime. Bye.